I was doing a doing a radio interview in Nashville with Jim Cole, but Jim had this guitar called a Petros I'd never seen before. I said, Jim, what the heck is that guitar? We gotta go to this guy's house because Paul Simon has a couple of his guitars. I said, oh, one second, hold on. The Paul Simon has a couple of his guitars. I, I put this guitar together. We had to glue the braces on, had to put the frets in, had to shape the neck. It was like building a model until I actually put the strings on and strummed it. And I went, wow, this, you can actually make a guitar. And then it became not just a model anymore, it became an instrument. I, you can actually make an instrument. People must do this. And so I, I did it. And uh, it was at that point a little light went on. You can do this. You can do this. You've been looking. What do you want to do with your life? I want to do this. And I've been doing it ever since. I feel like I saw that first guitar he made. I feel like there was that, I've done it. I am, I am doing, I, I am, I'm, I'm living a dream. I am, I am jumping in. So he went from being the, the, the caretaker of instruments that others had made to, you know, uh, Geppetto, you know, he, he, he was making, he was the maker, he was the, he was the father, he was the parent. I was interested in what uh, my father was doing, you know, as soon as I could crawl down the stairs, I would work in the shop with him. I would go in the shop and take scraps of wood and make little piddly things, it turns into a passion for woodworking. <laughs>